Hello there boys and girls and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing a resin kit. In today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and then we will come back at a later time with it all built up and primed and I'll give you my thoughts and some quirks if there are any about how it should go together and everything. And this kit, as usual, is from GK Model. So without further ado, let's jump down the table and take a look at what's in this little box. All right, so here we are. It is a smaller box, not that big, but you know what they say, sometimes uh, good things come in small packages. I don't know. Let's get to it. Pulling off the lid, you're going to end up being greeted by, and, and of course, I have not looked at these yet. Uh, a metal rod in here. You get some pictures. We'll look at those in a second. Um, evidently, you get some water slides. And holy crap, these are freaking huge. I do like the eyes. They do give you, as usual, multiple sets of the decals just in case you end up screwing up set. They always pack their things really well. So you do end up getting the umbrella. It looks like they included that part, which is actually kind of good in there so that it doesn't get broken. It's the little, uh, I don't know what you call those arms inside of an umbrella. But yeah, so you get that. You get one baggie, opening it up some more, two baggies, three baggies, four baggies, and a chunk of the base. Now, if you'll remember, we already did an unboxing on two of the other pieces that go with this fate set. And this is the final piece to make up the base. And I'm just going to leave the metal rod in here so we don't end up losing it. But this is going to be the handle for the umbrella. And this is going to be the 1 7 scale of Fate Saber Atoria racing version. So you get, as usual with these, pictures of it together. And this is what the PVC figure ended up looking like. So the water slides are going to be mostly all for the umbrella. And then, you, of course, you get for the eyes and I think for her jacket over here. And since this was a PVC, you don't get any actual instructions of how it goes together. But you do get parts so you can count out how everything so that you can make sure that you get all your parts. It is important to make sure that you get them. I've never had an issue of a part missing from a GK kit from this company, but you never know. And taking a look at what's in the first baggie, you actually get the boots for Saber. And they actually look really good. You can tell the pore marks are on the bottom of the shoes. So that's good. You don't end up with any uh, unwanted blemishes or on the boots themselves. Here is the other one. You do get keys in here, so you won't be able to mess up how they end up going on there. I'm not feeling any real seam offset. I can tell that there was a mold line right across here. It's very simple. Just sand that off. The next baggie we end up opening up, and as usual, this is going to be a little hard to film because it is in white resin, but you do get the, the wedge of the base that she ends up going on. And I have to say, for it being hollow on the backside, I am really pleased that it is actually, you can see it is actually a flat it's not all bowed in or anything like that so good job next baggie you end up opening up actually has her main body parts in here and they actually stuck a couple of them together so you actually get her torso her jacket everything looks great and then her shorts again everything looks great i am not seeing any big things uh, they have snapped off most of the pore marks like on here it was on here so it actually fits together really well and then the jacket and then the jacket fits really well we are going to have to heat it a little bit just to get to fit in this uh underarm section over here really well but that's kind of why it's going to end up looking like the next baggie of parts you're going to end up with saber's face big old nice smiley face looks really good a chunk of her hair which of course with the way that they end up doing these it is keyed you can see there's for the upper sections and then for the back of her head so it's just going to fit on just like that I love when they end up doing these uh, because it makes it really easy to put together. I can literally put a magnet here, here, that'll snap together, and then magnets for the hair, that'll just snap onto there. Easy peasy. You get her thighs, which there is zero, zero seam line. There's a little bit of a, a mold line that's right across here, but very minimal. You get her upper arms, which are in the jacket, of course. And then you get another arm, and I believe this gives you an option of either her holding the umbrella or not holding the umbrella. So yeah, if we take a look here, you can either do her holding the umbrella or with the arm down like that, not holding it. I'm probably going to have her holding the umbrella because, well, it's big, it's there. We might as well use it. In this other baggie, I'm going to leave these parts in here, but you get some little cuffs, little pieces of hair, things like that. You get a bow, some more pieces of hair, her hands for the different options. And I tell you what, I'm starting to grow a collection of extra pieces from all of these kits. It's kind of crazy. You get this little wedge that's going to go under her foot that attaches to the base and then you get this multi-section for her hair so you actually get this section that's going to attach to here and then this section that's going to attach to this section 
just like that. And then you get the bow that will actually sit up here on top, just like this, that will end up covering up uh, that joining piece. And then you get Excalibur's handle, which already has a hole all the way through it for the rod, which is kind of cool that they already did that. In the last bag, you do want to be really careful with this because it is actually really fragile. Uh, it's flexible, but it is fragile. So this is going to be the inside pieces for the umbrella. And speaking of the umbrella, here it is. Doesn't seem to be warped at all. Looks really good. This ought to be a lot of fun to do the decals on. And speaking of, while we have the up close, here is a shot of the decals. Now you can choose to paint or do the decals. Uh, I haven't decided what I want to do yet on this, but you guys will be the first to know. And then of course, here are her eyes, two sets, these decals, these decals, so should be a lot of fun. And then if you guys are wondering what the uh, base, bottom of the base looks like, this is what it's going to look like all built up with the horse on air. All right, so in closing, you get 38 pieces, you get the water slides, you get a sheet of pictures, you get a metal rod for the umbrella, and you get the bottom of the base. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that. I just wanted to do a quick overview so you guys can see the quality from directly out of the package before I even look at it, before I've even touched it. So this is what you're looking at. Uh, I think it filmed out okay. This right now, they have listed at 72, but depending on your membership, even if you start out purchasing, you get automatically 10% off. I do recommend, especially if you're here in the US, um, purchase a couple of them. You get a additional 5% off if you purchase at least two kits and do the DHL shipping. It's an additional $10 whether you get one kit or you get 20 kits. It's only a $10. Um, I, do have a, I do have a tendency of purchasing like what's in stock and then doing pre-orders separate so that they can ship separate. But a lot of times they'll end up uh, like on this other one. I ended up purchasing this about two weeks ago and they held on to it because they knew one of the pieces was coming in and I am still waiting for the Renjusaka to come in, which should be in another couple of weeks and then they'll send that out to me. But as usual, I will put a link down below to be able to check this out over on GK Model. If you like this video, make sure and hit that like button, hit the subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely stay tuned. We're going to get this girl all built up and then we'll do a turnaround and I'll let you know how the fit and fitment was on this kit. I will see you guys all in the next video. As usual, peace.